So I am at the space now currently, as you can tell, and much like the title suggests, this one device will improve the audio of your tracks. And that is a track rig. Now this is a eight XLR output interface with four USB ports on the back for MIDI controls and charging and all kinds of other stuff that you can do with it. And this is one of the more affordable options of what I could find for this type of unit. And it is straight from Loop Community. Now follow along with me as I set this up and get it all operational for Sunday. All right, so to get started, you only need a couple of things. Obviously you need the track rig itself. And then it comes with the cable to go to whatever device you're going to. It comes with a USB-C to the USB host port. And then it also comes with a USB-A to the USB-A or to the USB host port. And then since we are using a iPad, I had to get a Apple camera adapter, which has a lightning port and then a USB port with a lightning port to charge as well. And then from there, you have to have a way of transferring your audio over a snake or straight into your board, however you wanna hook it up. I chose to go to an analog snake and into my digital snake, which goes Cat5e to my Behringer wing. And then you have to have a way to power it. So I actually went with the Furman um, surge protector with, it also conditions the power as well. So the keys, everything will just get plugged right into this and help streamline that process as well. And last but not least, you need some way of mounting this uh, track rig. So I went with this one unit rack mount that can just undermount under the keys. It's actually gonna go down here out of the way and it'll just be a, a smooth and clean look that I think will work very well for us. So let's install this. Access granted. Now to get started, all you have to do is plug in that camera adapter and that USB port from your track rig. And then from there, all you have to do is press the outs button. And this will open up a new view for you to where you can keep scrolling through the channel buttons to get whatever channel you want desired, as well as make something mono to stereo, which as you can see, I am making everything a stereo channel. And then the first Thing I'm gonna make its own channel would be the cues and the click and I'm gonna do that that way it is not going into the house obviously you don't want that that's not a cute look and then the next thing is something as you notice right now is I'm clicking through the channel because I passed up the channel I wanted so that is the only sucky thing is that you have to just keep scrolling through until you find the one you want you can't just press the back button or anything like that. So I'm gonna make cues and click channel one on a mono and then everything else is gonna be stereo three and four for this demonstration purpose. And once you have everything the way you want it, all you have to do is press the outs button on the top left again and that will save it for this song. Now you have to do this for every single song because they are all mastered and all have different names for the each channel. So we got this all set up now. I have it all routed on the iPad as you saw. 
Now, why would you want to do something like this? Well, the answer is kind of simple. It gives you full and complete control over each channel in its own channel strip. So once you get it routed, you could have up to eight different channels or you could do a couple stereo, a couple mono. Um, the possibilities are endless up to eight channels with this. And it gives you four USB uh, ports to charge or send MIDI controls and stuff like that. So you can have a bass channel to where you can actually control it or drums or electric or synths, any of that combination you can control it to where you can make your own mix your own in a live environment, which is really cool. Now, I hope that this helps you in getting something set up for tracks in a affordable way. If you found this video valuable, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.